Okay, in this mini lecture, I wanted to talk about estimating. Now, in general, there are many, many, many ways to estimate. So when you are looking at making an estimation, you have to look at what it is you're making an estimation of, and furthermore, how you're supposed to create that estimation, okay? So for example, when we're talking about estimating decimals, one way that we can do it is through the idea of rounding. Now with that, you want to do or perform your estimation by rounding each individual decimal number to whatever place is the leftmost non-zero digit. So when we're talking about leftmost, we're talking about the idea that our numbers are written up as whole numbers, and then the decimal point, and then we have the decimal numbers. Well, that being said, what we actually have is that the whole numbers are considered your left side and your decimals are considered you're right. Now with that idea, we want to use the leftmost non-zero number. Okay, so let me show you how that works. I have a sequence of numbers here, and the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to estimate. So if I look at my first sequence here, I have 121.6. The leftmost digit is going to be this digit here, the 1. So in order to round, we look at um, your 2 here. And since this 2 is less than 5, it means the whole digit rounds down, and this becomes 100. Okay. So let's do it again. So we're talking again of 55.9. I want the leftmost digit. So that would be the 5 right here. So I look at the number next to it, and that number is a 5, which means the whole digit rounds up, making this 60. Again, let's look again at the leftmost digit, and it would be the 8. So I'm going to look at the 3, since the 3 stays the same, and because the 8 is just simply in the 1's place, this remains 8. And then for 21.6, again, we have the leftmost digit, which is the 2. The number right next to it is a 1. That's less than 5, so the whole thing rounds down to 20. So my estimation here... is going to be found by taking 100 plus 60 plus 8 plus 20. And so if you add all of those up, you're going to come up with 188. And that would be your estimation. Now the actual is simply adding all these digits up as they go. And So if I were you, I would go ahead and use your for function calculator. And when you add all those up, you should actually come out with 207.45. Now the point is not the fact that these numbers are so different, it's the fact that we are using an estimation method through rounding in order to um, complete the process. Okay. So let's look at it again. Again, I want to use the leftmost digit. So when I'm looking at 7,521, the leftmost digit is going to be right here, which is the 7. I'm going to look at the spot right next to it, and that's a 5. The 5 means the number rounds up. Because the 7 is in the thousands place, this is going to round up to 8,000. Looking at the next number, I have 973.16. Again, here's my leftmost, it's at the 9. 
So I look at the number next to it, which is a 7. 7 is greater than 5. The whole number rounds up. Because the 9 is in the hundreds place, you'd round up to the next hundred, which in this case happens to be a 1,000. So now your estimation is found by taking 8,000 minus 1,000 which is going to give you 7,000. Now again, if we look at the actual, we would subtract these two numbers from each other and you would come up with 6,548.06. So in my first example, notice my estimation came up short. It was less than what the actual was. However, in this second example, notice the estimation is larger than what the actual is. So again, I stress, the point of this is not how far apart these values may be, but is the method that is being used in order to round. And in this case, this method of estimation is hooked directly to the rounding idea or the rounding principle here. Okay. So let's look at a couple more here just to make sure that we're all on the right uh, page. Here I have 0.64. So again, I want my left most um, non-zero digit. So that is actually going to be that six here. So I'm gonna look at the four. The four is less than five, so that it rounds down, which means this becomes 0 0.60. And then I have 9.71, um, so my leftmost is going to be the nine. I'm going to look at the seven. Seven is greater than five. Therefore, this digit here is going to round up. Because the 9 is in the 1's place, we would round the 1's place, so 9 rounds up to 10. So here, when we look at your estimation, we are going to do 0 0.60 times 10, which is going to give you an answer of 6. Now, if we take a look at the actual, we would do 0.64 times 9.71 and you're going to come out with 6.2144. So notice your estimate and your actual now in this case are very close together. My estimation again was done by using the rounding principle. Now with this last one we still have to do estimations but notice we have a direction here where we have to round to the nearest hundredth as needed. So first and foremost I have to round. We're going to start with the left most digit which is the 2. So I'm going to look at the 4. My 4 here is less than 5 so it rounds down. Since my 2 is in the tens place this is going to round down to 20. And then I have 85. So again I'm going to look at the left most digit. I'm going to use the 5 next to it. Since it's equal to 5, it means we round up. Since the 8 is in the tens place, we're going to round up to 90. So my estimation here is going to be found by doing 20 divided by 90. And here we need to be able to round to the nearest hundredths as needed. So you're going to want to get out your um, four function calculator. So here, and then we'll go ahead and do 20 divided by 90 and hit enter. Now notice there is a lot of twos. It just shows up forever. Because we have to round to the nearest hundredth, it means we're only going to take two of them. So if we look at this digit, we would then again have to round. Well, I want the hundredth space, which is the second digit. So I'm going to look at the digit next to it, and this digit is less than 5, 
Therefore, we're going to keep 0 0.22. Now, we also have to do the actual. And so here, when we're talking about the actual, again, you would take out and look at your calculator. And we would do 24.31 divided by 85.3. Again, notice I have a whole big list of numbers. I want the hundredths, so I want this second spot here. So I'm going to look at the spot right next to it, which is a 4. Because 4 is less than 5, it means I stay the same. So my actual here is going to be 0 0.28. Okay. So in a nutshell, that is everything that you need to know about rounding decimals using, or estimating decimals using a rounding method. Okay? So, you need to make sure that you pay very close attention to problems that you're doing and that you round using the methods that you are uh, shown and expected to use. So, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, remember, Math is bananas, so try to keep smiling, ask tons of questions, be sure to have fun with it, relax, and as always, I'll see you next time.